Hello folks, Samsung Electronics has a battery development and manufacturing division and is called Samsung SDI. Batteries from Samsung SDI are used in Samsung's laptops, smartphones, tablets and wearables. They are also used in electric vehicles from BMW and Fiat and will soon be used by Hyundai and Genesis. Now, the company is aiming to launch a completely new type of battery. Samsung SDI is planning to launch solid-state batteries by 2027. According to a report from Cat Global, the company has formed a new team to commercialize its ASP or solid state battery technology and it is being led by Go Ju Young, vice president of the company's large scale battery business division. The Unlike conventional batteries that use a liquid electrolyte between anode and cathode to facilitate the flow of ions, solid state batteries use solid materials. This reduces the risk of fire, improves the battery endurance and increases energy density. Earlier this year, Samsung SDI started an ASB test production line at its Suwon Research Center in South Korea. Samsung SDI is aiming to launch all solid-state batteries with an energy density of more than 900 watt-hours by liters by using a sulfide-based technology. Such batteries will likely be launched for electric vehicles first and then for energy storage systems and electronics such as smartphones, laptops and tablets. It is rumored that the Galaxy S25 will feature a new design language and the design will then be used in other Samsung phones. Now, another piece of information information has come to light, which might indicate what we can expect from the performance of Galaxy S25. According to reliable Lickster digital chat station on Weibo, the Snapdragon Agent 4, codenamed Sun, is a 3 nanometer chip made by TSMC. It reportedly has an octa-core Orion CPU featuring two high-performance Phoenix L CPU cores and six power-efficient Phoenix M CPU cores. He claims that Qualcomm has made significant gains in performance and that the CPU performance will be similar to Apple's M series chips. This is the same chip expected to be used in the Galaxy S25 series, at least in the North American market. In other countries, Samsung could equip the Galaxy S25 and the Galaxy S25 Plus with its Exynos 2500 processor, aka Dream Chip. Another tipster, Revegnus, claims that the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor consumes 8 watts of power lower than the Snapdragon Agent 3, offering improved power efficiency. He also claims that the Adrian Arduino 830 GPU inside the Snapdragon Agent 4 is 10% more powerful than the desktop grape M2 chip inside Apple's laptops and desktop. Apparently, Qualcomm's next flagship chipset can score over 2,800 points in Geekbench 6 single-core CPU performance test and over 10,000 points in multi-core CPU performance test. The custom Orion CPU cores have been developed by the Nuvia team, which Qualcomm acquired a couple of years ago. Apple has had a dream run over the past decade regarding regarding the performance and efficiency of its A-series in-house chips. Android processor makers MediaTek, Samsung and Qualcomm have been trying for years to match Apple's performance but to no avail. However, it finally looks like Qualcomm can reach Apple's level with a Snapdragon Agent 4. However, take this information with a pinch of salt, as these are just rumored claims and the data can only be trusted after looking at the real-life performance of the chip. As we move closer to the official launch of the Galaxy S24 lineup, we are unsurprised seeing the frequency of leaks increasing. In the latest leak, we're getting to see a Galaxy S24 Ultra in flash next to a Galaxy S23 Ultra, revealing the differences in their design. As the photos show, the overall design is pretty similar and Samsung has made only a few changes. The opening for the bottom-facing speaker is one of the most noticeable changes, and at the top there are now two holes instead of a single one. Samsung has also flattened out the bottom of the S Pen, which could make pushing the S Pen so it it pops out slightly more inconvenient. The volume buttons look a tad bigger, and the Galaxy S24 Ultra's frame is a little as Samsung has made the display a little less curvy on the Ultra model. Speaking of the frame, the Galaxy S24 Ultra will use titanium for it instead of aluminum, as has been corroborated through numerous rumors over the past few months. There is no visual indication of that in these photos, and even in the real world, the in-hand feel will be the main indicator that the phone has a titanium frame. The source most of these images also points out details such as the battery capacity and the primary camera's megapixel count, both of which will remain unchanged compared to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. It means battery capacity is 5000 mAh and the camera is 200 megapixels. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.